going on, fellow viewer? This is Steampunk J here, coming at you from my humble art studio with another edition of Steampunk J's Reacts and Draws, Hurricane Storm Tracker, yeah! How is everyone doing? I hope y'all doing okay. I would be feeling a whole lot better if we uh, didn't lose in a shutout. Yes, you heard me right. My hurricanes that I have been following and supporting, uh, we took our first shutout loss. And what I mean by shutout loss just means that the other team scored, but we didn't score jack shit. So <laughs> this was a bad game. This was a bad game for me. It was a good game for the Tampa Bay Lightning, obviously. But of course, this is a hurricane, pro hurricane channel right here. So this is... Oh my god, well, what can I say about this game? Uh, this... I don't know what happened! I seriously have no idea what happened in this game! I mean, uh, it, it, is it because uh, we weren't playing at our game? Or did the Tampa Bay Lightning finally decided to play like champions for once? <laughs> oh, but I, all this time that, uh, that we've been dominating, dominating for most of the time in the hockey uh, games, uh, I think it's starting to come back on us if we keep, uh, if we continue to fall asleep behind the wheel. So, oh my god, as much as I don't want to do this and talk about this game, because, you know, there's really nothing that I can't say, that I can say about us because we didn't score anything, but, uh, I'm just gonna have to get this over with. So, I thank you all, uh, for taking the time to listen to me just, uh, somber about the Hurricanes, but I got to do this. I need to do this. I told myself in this challenge, I'm gonna, every game that they play, win, lose, or tie, I'm gonna have to cover. So, and at the same time, you get to see a speed drawing video in the back, uh, in the background of the video. So, uh, here we go. So, this game, uh, I thought... Uh, for game number 18 that we were going to continue playing uh, on our home turf But now we're finally uh, on the road uh, Playing hockey. So uh, this game took us to the uh, great city of Tampa Bay, Florida where the uh, lightning play and uh, For this game we put our goalie number 39 of the rookie Alex uh, Nadelchovic Nijakovic man. He's I'm still pronouncing their names Um <laughs> uh, uh, in the goal, and uh, he was going up against uh, their goalie, I believe his number 88, uh, Andre uh, Vasilevsky. Ba yeah, yeah, Vasilevsky. I am still learning how to pronounce their name, so if there's other people out there that uh, know how to pronounce these these uh, hockey players' names much more fluently, uh, please don't get upset. I'm not trying to uh, do this on purpose. This is I'm, I am just uh, that that ignorant and clueless when it comes to how. Uh, I pronounce these names, so, um, uh, first period, obviously, uh, what can I say about first period? The Tampa Bay Lightning were pretty much dominating us in, uh, shooting. What I mean by that is that they were shooting more times than we ever did, and it started getting a little bit ridiculous when you realize that the team that you're playing against are out shooting you two to one. I mean, I think I looked up on the, uh, shootout uh, scoreboard I mean shots on goal and I was looking up there thinking uh, why are they at 28 shots when we only had 10 so uh, something is wrong when you have uh, the other team that are just out shooting you or can Continuing to bring the puck over to your end and continue to harass you guys. I'm just telling you guys you need to stay away You need to keep the lightning away from your zone because you're just gonna tire out the goalie You're gonna tire out our rookie in this game and uh, Not even just like a few minutes in the lightning uh, Just took control of the game by scoring the first goal uh, the, the Tampa Bay Lightning player that scored the goal was number 79 uh, Coltman, so uh, I'm gonna have to just just suck it up and just and say uh, good shot, good shot. Let's just go on with our lives, you know. Uh, it was a uh, a wraparound shot, which was pretty unique in the game of hockey. Like, uh, he decided to uh, deke the goalie upon his approach and then uh, swing around to the back of the net. And he did some sort of like a, a backhand shot. Uh, and uh, Coltman, number 79, uh, he took a backhand shot and just shot the puck into the open net. And uh, it was just... It was just crazy how they did that, you know? And uh, then, 
as the game continues, we still haven't been able to solve the problem of keeping the puck away from our zone, and lo and behold, uh, they scored again. This time uh, by the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, number 28, uh, Blake Coleman. He scored a one-timer goal. And I, tell, I keep telling the guys, one thing that you need to look out for in the game of hockey is watch out for the setup. Uh, what I mean by the setup is if uh, the attacking team uh, is in your zone and you have to play defender, uh, what happens uh, most likely is that the um, the attacking team, they do what's called the pass and forth, uh, I, I call it pass and forth time, uh, where basically they just pass the puck to, uh, to and from each other so they can try to uh, thin out our defensemen. Uh, and more importantly, uh, they, they try to find like, you know, one of the hockey players that's just wide open, uh, no one protecting him. So you can just score an easy goal. And, uh, lo and behold, uh, they managed to do a one-timer goal where one of the Tampa Bay Lightning just, uh, passed the puck to one of, to, uh, Blake Coleman and Blake Coleman just made a quick shot in giving our goalie just a little time to react. And I'm just thinking, oh boy, uh, two to zero. Oh boy. I can't wait to see where this is going. <laughs> Uh, second period uh, wasn't faring any better for us. I mean, they were still uh, continuing to outshoot us. And I realized that the Tampa Bay Lightning were hanging around in our zone for far too long. And the thing is, we were uh, allowing them to do so. I mean, uh, I really didn't see that many opportunities where we actually just jumped uh, we took the advantage and led the attack into the Tampa Bay Lightning zone. I, I just didn't see that happen that much often in the second period. And uh, there was even a time where uh, I thought that they literally scored a goal on us, the Lightning, on us, uh, by shooting uh, at our goalie. The goalie makes a stop, and I think a Lightning uh, kind of pushed our goalie into the net. And they almost... And, and uh, they were celebrating like they scored a goal because obviously... Here's a funny rule in hockey. Uh, in the net, there's a red line, right? If the puck manages to cross that red line, that means it's a goal. But there's a rule in hockey that I'm glad that they implemented saying that uh, if a goalie has stopped uh, a shot and he's holding on to it, you cannot push the goalie over the line to score a goal. Which I was just thinking, thank God that rule exists, because otherwise I would have lost my freaking mind if they would have called that a goal. Because it did not look fair that a that a goalie did whatever he could, and yet he was he was pushed in physical contact uh, over the line, which is a big no-no in hockey. Uh, no, don't touch the goalie. <laughs> That's like a big rule in hockey. Uh, man, this was not a game. This was not the time or game for us. I mean, even when we had a power play, meaning that the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, they, they committed a penalty and they have to be one player down. Uh, we almost gave them a shorthanded goal. Uh, I, I don't know what, what happened to our defense. I mean, uh, we, we just looked like we were attempting to make a pass and then we just kind of gave the puck to the Tampa Bay Lightning and he just... Uh, just made a breakaway attempt with no one stopping him and it was just our goalie all by himself just to take on that attacker and I'm just thinking oh god dang it no but thank god uh, number 39 uh, uh, Alex he, he just managed to stop uh, the shot and I was thinking he got lucky because we almost gave away a shorthanded goal to, to them you know we almost gave that gave that uh, bragging rights uh, to them so it was crazy uh, uh, how they just continued to apply the pressure and uh, th th this was not really a good second period it we did for some strange reason towards the end of the second period we started to wake up just a little bit the hurricanes where we uh, started catching up with the lightning in terms of uh, scoring chances and uh, we begin to uh, to uh, build pressure. Uh, my boy, uh, Sebastian Ajo, he made a wonderful attempt to score a goal uh, all by himself. And I was just thinking, where the heck is the rest of his team at? Oh, uh, did they just give the puck to Ajo so he can go and score the goal by himself while they were making a line change? Oh my God. I was just thinking, uh, hello, where's my team at? Hello. Ugh. So we go into third period, and I can honestly tell you, if we played 
the rest of the periods with the same amount of aggressiveness as we've done in the third period, I think we probably would have had at least one goal in, you know? At least. Because in the third period, we started taking the game a little bit seriously. And uh, we had many different opportunities to score a goal, but we just couldn't get it. And there was a time where I was looking up at the uh, shots on goal um, uh, point charts. And I remember seeing the charts that uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning, they had 25 shots on goal and we had 20. I'm like, okay, we're catching up to them. We're starting to put the pressure on them. Uh, I mean, still, the Lightning, they continue to uh, uh, get a little creative with us. They almost had a chance to score on us when they did uh, like a one-timer goal with two people. Like, uh... We had one guy uh, pass the puck to this one dude, and I thought this one uh, Lightning player was about to uh, shoot the puck in in front of our goalie, but instead, he just lets that puck slide right past him into the hands of a third Lightning on the other side. So we just saw that puck glide in like uh, the, this very long uh, deep shot, and when he took the shot, uh, we uh, our goalie managed to stop it. I'm thinking, if you would have let that shot in, not only did you manage to let that guy dick you out, but you also managed to let that third guy in just creep up behind the rest and just humiliate you with that goal. But I'm glad it didn't. Uh, so I'm thinking, okay, we're down two to nothing. The pressure's building up. And then this uh, scary nightmare uh, crept into my head. Wait a minute. We're down. We're behind in this game, right? We're losing this game, right? You know what this means? Oh, no! You know what I'm talking about. Whenever a team is down, uh, is losing, they need to do the empty net protocol. And somebody who invented that protocol needs to be in prison for the rest of his life because we attempted that empty net protocol in which we take away the goalie from our net so that we can get an extra player out there on the team to give us an extra fighting power, but we leave our, em but we leave our goal uh, wide open for anyone to score. And we paid the ultimate price. And the way I see it, it looks like we have just given up that last, that, that last few minutes because... Uh, our defensemen, I mean, God bless our soul, we had at least one defenseman try to stop uh, like a two-on-one rush, but there's no way uh, that he's going to stop a two-on-one rush because all that guy had to do was just pass the puck to the guy that's open. He's going to be wide open, and yeah, the Lightning, they scored an empty net goal on us, and we just, it looked like we just let them have that one because there was, we just gave up. So we pay the price. Uh, number light, number 19 for the Tampa Bay Lightning scored a, a goal on us, and uh, we lost in a shutout game. Oh my God! So this is what it feels like to to be on the receiving end of a Lightning loss. <laughs> but I think I think uh, it was hubris, I guess, because for two games since we started the season, we utterly destroyed the Tampa Bay Lightning, and now we played them again twice, and they go and uh, even the score on us, so yeah, uh, this was not a good way for me to, for me to, this was not a good way for the Carolina Hurricanes to play, this was, they, they, they played hard, but they weren't playing at the intensity that they used to, you know, so uh, this is the game that I can honestly say that we just fell behind, the, we fell asleep behind the wheel, and we paid the price, so... Uh, good job to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I know uh, a fellow artist out there named Kaz is listening to this, and he is probably celebrating his butt off that his team, the Tampa Bay Lightning, just won again, and now we're tied. So I can think of a few Discord comments coming my way that are not going to be all too pleasant. So, <laughs> oh my god so yeah this is a good game i still haven't drawn anything yet but i'm kind of hesitant because uh after the last join video that i made i was not feeling too good and now i'm gonna have to do something else that has to alliterate that um that the lightning have won another game and this is twice in a row so this is the first time ever that we've been on a two game losing streak and uh 
As much as it pains me, I have to come up with something. Uh, I haven't decided what I was gonna draw yet. I'm afraid to think of any inspiration, but uh, if I'm gonna include Cyclone Chan in this, forgive me, Cyclone Chan. Uh, forgive me, but the hurricanes, they just cost this one, the both of us, and we have to pay the price with this drawing. So I know every drawing that I make, win, lose, or tie is gonna be good. It's all gonna be just on the reaction, uh, just by the game alone. And it doesn't matter if you're watching anime, movies, going out and and, uh, going out in public and just experiencing life and getting inspiration uh, you've got to find inspiration in everything that you do and I definitely get my inspiration box going full throttle when I'm watching my Hurricanes play so uh, this is a good game uh, game number 18 uh, 3 to 0 a shutout loss uh, between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Tampa Bay Lightning so hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like the drawing that I made, then don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And also, if you want to see me do more reaction draw sessions, especially the Carolina Hurricanes uh, Storm Tracker videos, then don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content, and hit that notification bell to always stay notified. To all my fellow artists and art fans out there, this is Steampunk J. And always remember, to keep on drawing.